The amended Traffic and Road Safety Act comes with new revisions, including shifting the responsibility of motor vehicle registration back to Minister of Works and Transport from the licensing board, renaming a driving permit to become a driving license but renewable after five years and not the three years as previously required. While launching the new law of traffic and road safety, the Minister for Works and Transport, General Edward Katumba Wamala, said the driving license will be globally acceptable. As you all know, we no longer operate in an, as an island. We operate within the internal, international environment. So now we are going to be ensure that we qualify all that is required for us to be able to operate within that environment. You know we are operating within the East Africa, but even beyond. So. The Act also introduces a driving license with valid of, validity of five years in addition of one year and three years. So you can have your driving license for five years or for three years or for one year. The choice is yours. But of course, it will come with a cost. The Act also makes it compulsory for medical facilities, both private and public, to provide treatment to victims of accident, and any facility that rejects to do this will risk losing their license. If uh, an accident has happened, you are running a clinic, and an accident victim is rushed to a clinic, you are, you are expected and you are supposed to give first treatment and stabilize that patient. Don't ask for money first. That will be a requirement. So if anybody breaches that, and if anybody doesn't offer that, then you could have your license revoked for not being a good citizen. It's even a matter of responsibility, really. It also provides for imprisonment not exceeding 10 years without a chance of fine, where the court convicts a person for causing death through reckless driving. You don't walk, walk out scotch free. However, Minister Wamala says the operationalization of the act will take effect after six months to accommodate sensitization of the public for suitable reception and its subsequent implementation. My ministry will disseminate the act through workshops, talk shows and using media to ensure that this provi the provisions of the act are understood by the general public. We are going to work hand in glove with the, the traffic a department to ensure that we are talking the same language and we are moving in the same direction on this matter. State Minister for Works and Transport, Joy Kabasi, expressed optimism that this will go a long way in solving most puzzles in the sector, especially on the ever-increasing fatality rates in the country. The border borders, they know no law, now the law has come. The border borders will also be handled. The way the buses move, death on the road, the whole world in Murabu for accidents by border borders. Meanwhile, the means of works and transport has revealed that First Technologies, which provides the driving permits, has had its license extended for an additional six months to allow for a smooth takeover. Relatedly, Government has advised persons categorized under essential service providers to keep the stickers for any eventuality in spite of them being expired. Dokas Kimono, 